together, you know, we first formed about two years ago, beginning of 2008, I think, and we worked on the songs and tried to form a full-length album, and then we started recording them. And it's taken it's taken quite a while, especially because we tried to sort of discover our own style and how we wanted to come across. Um, but this album, to me, represents a lot of obviously a lot of hard work but a lot of each of our individual sort of characters and personalities as we all kind of put in and work together to create a song so each song um, has got a bit of everyone in it I think uh, so it's a nice I think it's a it's a it's a very successful or in my heart it's a very successful first album um, as it represents me very well and each one of the band members well and I think the music is um, I think people will be pleasantly surprised. I think it's got a, a got a decent amount of old school rock, uh, which is where we draw most of our influence from, especially for this album. But also with a touch, a new sort of age to it. It just tells the story of um, a, a girl who's just had a relationship fall apart, and I mean, I sort of went through a similar sort of situation so I kind of related to it um, better in that way so it was for me it was it was so almost therapeutic to write a song like that which kind of told the story on my on my story but along with some friends of mine who also like I drew lots of inspiration from one friend who was also going through some really difficult times so um, not to be all I'm not trying to be all emo or sloppy or anything but that's just it really it means a lot to me I think Vocally, it's also one of my best songs to sing because it kind of soars really nicely in one spot. And uh, we also, it was one of the first songs that I assisted in in, in writing, as most of the songs are written by Nathan. Um, but we all kind of, obviously, like I said before, we all help write the songs, but he writes the basic melody and the basic chord progressions. I started singing at the age of three. Uh, well, or thereabouts. I'm sure I was singing before that, but not really singing. But uh, my mom used to harmonise in the car, so I kind of caught on to harmonising uh, at a very young age. And so I've been singing since then, and loved, have loved doing it as well. And I sang in front of my church, I think, in front of a big audience for the first time at the age of four. And yeah, so I have not had any real vocal training, but I've done obviously a lot of work and my parents are both great musicians so learning from them has probably been the best training I could have had. I've done um, quite a bit of theatre work as well so that also trains you on many different levels uh, that singing in a band won't if you're just singing in a band but I've you know learned a lot about my vocal control, how to sustain notes and you know how to expand your vocal range and stuff like that too. Working in the musical theatre has helped me or really, really assisted me with that. Well, there has been quite a bit of... It's been difficult to balance basically having a full-time career in professional theatre and also wanting to invest in a possible full-time career with the band. So it's been difficult for me because I feel pretty torn, obviously being so committed to Greece, which has been absolutely fantastic and I've loved every minute of it, but I also want to commit to White Collar Kiss with, with everything that I've got. So that's a bit difficult, but um, yeah, it all seemed to kind of work out for the best. I think everything happens for a reason, and we don't want to release the album at the wrong time, even though we've got to release it at the perfect time. So I think we've gathered enough momentum to have a to have a successful first album launch. Against my will, I stumble straight. Yeah, so obviously we've been working for quite a while on this album, and we very excited now that the final date for release is coming up quite soon. We're not rushing it, but we have had sort of like open or free time to kind of work on it. We haven't had a set date over the past couple of months or since we started working on it, but obviously we'll have it in the future. But for this one, we've had we've been able to take our time with it and work on it as we as we wanted to. And um, so now we're very excited with the date um, coming up very soon. So that's very recent our uh, first album. We're very excited. What it allows us to do is, as, as the guys, just get together and write the tunes and focus on what we want to And, um, you know, like we don't actually need Beth um, at the practices because um, we can sit down with, 
with our instruments and plan things and decide where, where we're going, what we want. Then when Beth does make it to pra practice, then uh, she just jumps in and, and sings what we've, what we've got. Um, yeah. Obviously we work on lyrics and that sort of thing with her, but a lot of the core ideas come from us just sitting around jamming and saying, oh, I like that, I don't like that, you know. And being really um, like clinical about what we do yeah. and, and selecting the, the different type of uh, runs and musical pieces that we play. Yeah. It's, it's actually amazing because of Beth's um, theatre background, sort of theatre training, etc. that she can just walk in and nail it like first time. It's, it's really, it's great to have that. I don't yeah. know if that's, I mean, I've been in a couple of bands and I've, I've never found the vocalist who does that so easily. So it's really quite a blessing to have. Yeah. But for me, Sam goes with the music as well. I mean, I've been in a previous band that was not, not such a nice, had a nice feeling to you know that you don't really know where you're going with the songs where you don't actually have someone in the or knowing what they're doing and then just when I started like met you guys and I heard your stuff and just I heard the way the way you guys jam it's just it's awesome how you guys can just jam so well and so quickly. And that actually comes from just Jamming together quite yeah, a lot. Yeah, each other's, yeah, yeah. Each other's yeah, personality, yeah. each other's style. We have to jol, um, like, get to jol. I mean, me and Mike uh, jol very well because we have uh, similar like musical backgrounds. It's like so communicating it's feels. on a musical level. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I think yeah, that's like the most important thing. If your if your band can actually work as one unit and not sound like they're different instruments playing, and, and as they actually they're one. You know, all the music is, is just one thing. I think that, that's that's a key. Thing. Yeah, here we are, me, Nathan, and Morning. Taurus, <laughs> 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 my colicus. <laughs> but, um, no, no, so it's mine. To... Yeah. Cool. And how did you learn to play guitar? I sat and practiced by myself. <laughs> no, Nate, seriously, how did you. Who taught you? Did you pick up a guitar at the yeah, age I of. I just, okay, we, uh, with the lyrics, what we wanted to do was we had. Um, uh, I said, look at me. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, I'm. Doesn't yeah, matter. I've seen people in interviews go, yeah. Oh, I'm just, just trying to keep it's cool. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just carry on. <laughs> okay. Yeah, just, 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 take, just take a very quick concert to go. Okay, yeah. The um, I must. What have my stamp off my arm? Come on. That's cool. Say so the stamp is from watching my manager's pants. Lunch. Which is awesome. Right. Okay. So um, I started playing drums at about I think I was 13 or. 12 years old, um, I was watching this really cool dude play drums in our church and I was like, man, he looks like he gets lots of chicks. <laughs> um, no, actually, I a light, not fluorescent, I suppose fluorescent is probably not the right word, neon, but neon lights and I see like all exciting colorful things, so yeah, I think it's a good choice. And um, yeah, so I've been singing with my mom and I've learned to harmonize because of her and she always used to harmonize to songs in the car, so I, it's kind of like in my, I don't even have to think about it. Thankfully, I'm blessed to be able to harmonize without having to try it. Not that that's, I'm not trying to be vain. No, that's weird. I don't want, I don't want to put that in. Okay. okay. That's so going in. No, I, I, no one, no one. It's been really awesome having to work with, um, with kind of like, endless amounts of time. Well, not really, but we haven't really had any set deadlines for the past couple of months, but recently we have, especially with a set now date for our album launch. So it's been it's been really exciting working towards that. And um, <laughs> it's nice. actually, I can stare at the wall. No, yeah, okay. I'm staring at the wall anyway. Bye. Yeah, but you always gonna. <laughs> no. Just move in, Jave. I keep. I want to get you in. I don't want you to be half. <laughs> That's okay. So you guys are talking about. Uh, okay. So, so you guys are talking about. Yeah. One, two.